But you guys were talking, you and Billy Chris were talking about Adam Schefter's body. You were spending a lot of time objectifying him. I, I don't know. What's Adam Schefter doing? He's, he's sold out for clicks. Oh, like, I, I feel like when the producer pitches that to him. Haven't we all? I mean, I, that's true. Yeah. I think Adam Schefter is dying for someone to ask him to take his shirt off. He like, did look. That's the, the that's bar, that's the lead right there. Is yeah. he, he? Billy was saying that. What were you saying? Like someone tweeted at me, and they were 100 percent right. And I didn't know that this happened until they tweeted at me. Adam Schefter looked the way I thought Kirk Cousin would look with his <laughs> shirt off. If that makes sense, because I I was shocked by Kirk Cousin's body. Right, I thought that when he was doing that dance, he would have looked the way Adam Schefter looked, which is not meant as an insult. It's a compliment. Like, Adam Schefter looks like a possibly slightly out of shape starting NFL quarterback. I was more impressed by Schefter's body at 50 than Cousins at 30. I Mm, was. I I mean, I have bad news. It was the worst body. You guys were fawning over (laughs) the body of Kirk Cousins, and I imagine actual fit people in our audience have a different definition for rip than you do. But also, like, like, Kirk Cousins is a professional athlete. Yeah. For Kirk Cousins to be in great shape is not a surprise. Adam Schefter's job dictates that he spends like 18 hours a day on his phone. Where does he have time for physical fitness? How does he have time to look like that? I thought that Schefter was obvious to all of you by his suits, that he was a blocky Jay Glazer type, that he uh, that he is fit and square and strong. I thought I that was more obvious. Bone. There was a little bit more definition there that I assumed. I'm right there with Witty. I don't have the time to go to the gym. Or the gym maybe once or twice a week. Where does Adam Schefter find the time? I've got Schefter on a treadmill in his office, like on his phone the whole time. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. he's got one of those where it's like you're sitting in the chair and like yeah. the, this, the device is doing the treadmill for you. Yeah. Or you have like the, the stationary <laughs> bike underneath your desk. I've, I might I might buy one here for the studio. I've been on, on a wow. Zoom meeting uh, with uh, JT Daly's manager and he was on a treadmill the entire 90-minute <laughs> Zoom. It was very oh, unsettling. Yeah. And I imagine that's what Adam Schefter does. <laughs> it's the only way. Otherwise, I mean, it's impossible to look like that with your like. And also, to your point, Chris, like the producer that pitched him, I feel really bad that it wasn't in the studio. And I know that it's still like the millions of people, but I honestly felt worse for him that he's doing it in a stadium full of people. That there's twenty two thousand people presumably there that early before kickoff that are watching him shirtless on the field. But why do you care? Because he doesn't seem to mind. He seems to be embracing it. He seemed to enjoy it. If you I read mean, the, if you read the body language, he still kept the arms a little tight. You know, he didn't want to like fully lean into right. it. There was still there a could have also of- been a lack of dancing confidence as well. It could have been. I didn't think it was a lack of shirtless confidence. I don't understand. Why are we mad that Schefter's confident and that he has a good body? Who's mad about it? There's two kinds of people in the world. There's people that take their shirts off, and there's people that don't. Schefter's clearly a guy that takes his shirt off. God you can bless see it. him, too. No, I'm, looks, I'm, yeah, why can't he I'm take his shirt off? I'm jealous. I'm longing too. for the courage. I think that's what Witty was just kind of uh, speaking to. Witty, you're not a guy. I'm assuming by you saying that, you're like me, not a guy that just wants to whip his shirt off at any moment. I, I, wish, dread, I dread the day that yeah. soccer becomes shirts versus skates. Like I said, I've, I've, never, read man. I've never, never seen you shirtless. I've I, never seen you shirtless. I hated <laughs> that. Growing up, when you would go yeah. to the field to play like tag football, I was like, "Please don't be on the shirtless team." Right? Please just pick me on the shirts team. Mm-hmm. It's a sad existence. <laughs> Makes me sad thinking back to those fears back in those days. Would you take his body today? I would. Of I would course. take his fifty-year-old body today. Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. At any point in my life, I would take Schefter's body. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yep. He's in better shape today than I've ever been in. Put it on the poll, Guillermo, at Lebetard Show. Was Adam Schefter dying for a producer to tell him to take his shirt off? 